in this video i am going to explain the uh, problem that i have solved in the previous video with the formulas you can see this is the previous video and the pre i have solved the problem using the formulas and in this video we are going to solve the som uh, same problem using smith chart so let us just go to smith chart and this data set there you can note it down okay so this is my smith chart here okay now in the smith chart what is smith chart how to do uh, use the smith chart all the things i will uh, explain in separate video i am not going to explain how to use the smith chart here but we'll just start with the problem so as you know uh, you might know that in smith chart everything has normalized impedance value or the admittance value has to be used here okay so for that i need to use the jdl value is given in the question so i need to use the jdl normalized value and how to find the normalized value that is equals to jdl divided by z0 so that is equals to so value is given in the question as 60 point j for 60 plus j 40 divided by 50 so 50 is the characteristic impedance given and jdl is the load impedance given so this value will come as 1.2 plus j 0.8 so we need to represent this point on the smith chart first then we will proceed further so to represent this point i need to find the resistance circle of 1.2 and the impedance uh, of the reactance circle of 0.8 so how do i find the resistance circle so i'll zoom in here in the smith chart you can see so this is the circle which represents r value as 1.2 okay now r value is 1.2 represented by this circle and 0.8 uh, is this circle so a complex part is the this circle so we need to see where these two circles meet each other and that is the required point so this circle the, you need to draw this line for reference i am just drawing this line so you can see this line is coming here and 1.2 line is here so they are meeting at this point so this is my jdl point okay now once we find the jdl point then what we need to do so just locate that point and then you have to draw one line okay so which line so you have to draw a straight line from the center through the jdl point so how to do that the center point is 1.0 so from here draw a straight line through the point okay that's important through the point it should go exactly now once it goes through the point so just name the points as this is the point o this is point p and this is point q which point this inner circle not the outer one this is point q now next is how to find the reflection coefficient magnitude so reflection coefficient magnitude is equals to how much op divided by oq so this ratio will give you the magnitude of the reflection coefficient so op is the smaller distance and oq is the larger distance so how do we measure that just take a scale here okay so i have this uh, scale here you can uh, use your own scale okay and uh, i will measure this so see what value i am getting so i am getting the smaller value as around 2.4 so that is equals to 2.4 divided by on the larger scale i am getting 6.7 okay so 6.7 is the larger scale so what is this ratio will come So let us uh, use the calculator here. So how much? Two point four, two point four divided by six point seven. So that is coming zero point three five eight. Okay. So this value is coming as zero point three five eight. What is this? This one is the magnitude of the reflection coefficient. Now let us see in the formula how much we got. Yeah, this is the formula. So here you can see we got 0.352 here and here it is 0.358. So up to two decimal it is correct means you can take it. So basically Smith charts give you gives you approximate value not exact value. Okay. Now next is <coughs> how to find the angle. So finding the angle is also very easy. Just remove the scale and uh, you can see here it is written angle of reflection coefficient. This scale you see. So this scale. this scale represents the angle of reflection coefficient and it is in this direction positive direction so you need to know what is this angle so if i take this point as s the angle as 
एस ओ क्यू और एस ओ पी विल गिव यू द एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन कोपिशेंट सो वट इज दिस एंगल नाउ लेट एस सी सो दिस एंगल इज नाउ ट्वेंटी थर्टी फोर्टी फिफ्टी सो हियर इट इज इन बिटवीन लाइक फिफ्टी सो यू सी सो बिटवीन सिक्सटी एंड फिफ्टी सो वी कैन टेक इट एज फिफ्टी फाइव और इट इज जस्ट मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट सो आई टेक फिफ्टी सिक्स परसेंट ओके सो दिस इज कमिंग एज फिफ्टी सिक्स परसेंट सो नाउ द वैल्यू ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन कोपिशेंट इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फाइव एट विथ एंगल ऑफ फिफ्टी सिक्स परसेंट सो दैट इज द आंसर टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर ए राइट सो लेट एस सी इन द फॉर्मूला हाउ मच वी गॉट सो फॉर्मूला ऑल्सो यू कैन सी वी गॉट फिफ्टी सिक्स परसेंट सो इफ यू गेट फिफ्टी फाइव ऑल्सो दैट इज फाइन नाउ नेक्स्ट इज द स्टैंडिंग वेब रेसियो सो हाउ टू फाइंड द स्टैंडिंग वेब रेसियो हियर सो इन द स्मिथ चैट द स्केल दैट यू यूज फॉर द रेजिस्टेंस सर्कल्स मीन्स द लाइन यू यूज फॉर द रेजिस्टेंस सर्कल जस्ट मेजर द डिस्टेंस देयर सॉरी नॉट मेजर द डिस्टेंस यू हैव टू यूज द राउंडर हियर ओके सो वॉट यू नीड टू डू कीप द सेंटर ऑफ द राउंडर एट हियर ओके एंड अनादर पॉइंट ऑफ द राउंडर एट द पी पॉइंट सो हियर इट इज एक्चुअली आई एम नॉट एबल टू रिड्यूस द राउंडर साइज मोर इन द सॉफ्टवेयर बट दिस राउंडर should be at this point okay now with this you just draw a circle okay now if we draw the circle so you see here where this line is crossing where the uh, where this is crossing this line the center line so it is crossing at 2.0 then uh, if i see 2 to 3 if i di divide this then it will be around uh, 2.1 or 2.2 like this something okay so with this we'll get the value of the your h double bar so 2.1 or 2.2 so you can write here your s value is equals to so it is answered to question number b s is equals to or h double bar equals to 2.1 so see in the formula also s value got 2.088 so 08 so next round up is 2.1 so that is correct you can take this value as well as uh, uh, there is another way to find it out also so here you see below also scale is there so h double bar scale is there so this is the center where one is there so this is the center and from here you can measure the distance also so whatever value it comes it is a uh, your h double bar okay okay so what is the next question says so next question says the input impedance we have to find the input impedance so how do we find the input impedance so in the question i'll just draw the transmission line and try to explain so this is the transmission line given this is the zl given this is the z0 given and it is asking me what is the z in value and uh, one more thing in the transmission line the value of uh, length of the transmission line is given as 30 meters right so you see here the length of the transmission line is given as 30 meter and one more uh, information is there frequency is given 2 megahertz and the velocity is given as 0.6c okay so with this we need to find what is the lambda value so again uh, it comes to the concept of the smith chart where this complete circle represents one lambda by 2 okay so a complete circle if you go in clockwise direction then this length is lambda by 2 and that is equivalent to 360 degree so in the smith chart what we are doing in the smith chart actually we are standing at we are standing at this point okay now if i move a distance of 30 meter how much if i move a distance of 30 meter on the smith chart if i can move then i will get the value of what get the value of the uh, your z in value right now how to move the 30 meter if the smith chart is a round circle so i cannot move 30 meter here there is no measure for that so this 30 meter is now has to be represented in terms of degrees how much degrees it is coming so that much a rotation if i do then i can reach the distance of 30 meter okay so to convert that to degree i need to know what is the value of lambda so lambda equals to how much 720 degrees right so if lambda by 2 is 360 lambda is 740 now what is the lambda value from the question we get so lambda well formula is equals to velocity by frequency so that is equals to velocity is given as 0.6 into c 
so 0 0.6 into 3 into 10 power 8 and divided by frequency is given 2 megahertz so 2 into 10 power 6 and this will come uh, 2 3 15 90 so it will come as 90 90 meters okay the lambda value is now 90 meters so we can write that your 90 meter corresponds to 720 degrees so 30 meter will correspond to how much degrees so that will be 720 divided by 90 into 30 right so that will come around how much 240 degree right so now if i rotate 240 degree in the smith chart then i can locate the z in point on the smith chart and how to rotate so it is very easy also so to rotate the distance from this point remember you should make your circle like this okay you should not uh, my circle is bit higher from the point but it should go through the point so because uh, i cannot do this the software doesn't allow to reduce this further so i could not do this okay now here from this point we have to move a distance of how much 30 meter and in degrees it is 240 degrees so which direction we have to move if you move 240 direction 240 degrees in this direction it is different if you move 240 degrees in this direction also it is different right so always remember if you are moving from your load point to the input point okay if you are moving load point to the input point then this is clockwise direction so this point you have to remember so here we have to rotate how much we have to rotate a distance of 240 degrees right so we know that this value is how much 56 degrees okay so this value is 56 degrees and again we can say so from here to here if i move then it is 180 degrees right so from here this point to this point totally how much 180 plus 56 so that comes 236 degrees so to move a distance of 240 degrees i need more 4 degrees here to uh, proceed right so here if i move more 4 degrees then uh, uh, you see here uh, 180 170 so it will come some around here okay so this is just uh, you need to uh, imagine that point okay now once you locate this point let's say this is uh, not this will be i think this is 6 uh, this will be this will be 4 so this represents 240 degree from the load okay now after this what you need to do again you draw one line from the center to this point okay after you draw this line wherever this uh, meets this circle so for you it should be around here if you are uh, doing it properly with this line so this point is my which point so z in point so here you have to locate that what is the value of the real part and what is the value of the imaginary part so let us see that so you can see it is uh, between 0 0.4 is here 0 0.5 is here so it is just around that so i will consider this i will consider uh, this as 0 0.467 okay so 0 0.47 and which line it is crossing in the imaginary part so you can see imaginary part so this is 0 this is 0 0.1 so this point is so this point is 0 0.05 so if this is 0 0.05 and uh, again this is half of that 0 0.025 so it is around 0 0.3 i can take right so 0 point sorry this point i can take as 0 0.3 okay so now what is the value uh, of the z in now so z in we got as so your z in right here z in is equals to how much <coughs> that is equals to 0 0.47 plus j 0 0.3 okay now this z in value is actually normalized value okay so this z in value is normalized value to get it actual z in value so z in is equals to so normalized value into z0 because initially we have divided that and if you z0 value is how much 50 so if you multiply that it will come as 
5 plus j 1.7 okay now let us see in the formula how much uh, we got so see here we got the almost same value here 1.35 we are getting 1.7 but that is near about uh, it's about approximation you should get the same value so this is it so this is the bit c of the answer this is how you can solve the smith chat problem okay and uh, in the next video we'll meet with another problem so till then i will practice this with the smith chat and uh, some point of time i'll explain the smith chat as well how to what is smith chat and how to use that uh, in this series i'll only explain the problem values that's it okay so thank you we'll meet in the next video